If you are thinking of moving to Lowell, Massachusetts, you will want to know these pros and cons so you can avoid making a costly mistake. Hey there, my name is Sebastian Roy. I'm a lifelong Massachusetts resident and local real estate expert here in the state of Massachusetts. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I cover everything related to living, dining, and having a blast in the Bay State. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Also, if you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell in Massachusetts, I would love a chance to win the real estate business. So I put my phone number and email on the screen here, and please reach out to me with any questions. All right, folks, let's gear up and dive right into the heart of Lowell. One of the standard pros of this place has to be its rich, diverse culture. I'm telling you, it's a real melting pot of traditions and flavors. You name it, Lowell's got it. And with all these different cultural influences, you best believe the city throws some mighty fine festivals. I'm talking legendary concerts and special events. Tens of thousands from all over Massachusetts and beyond flock here for some good old cultural immersion. Lowell's got plenty of culture, folks. There's no doubt about it. Speaking of diverse culture, Lowell is a food lover's paradise. Lowell boasts a remarkable array of dining options that satisfies everyone. So if you're in the mood of something bold and flavorful, there are some excellent Vietnamese options. Or if you're craving some world-class tacos, yup, Lowell has you covered as well. The list of culinary treasures goes on and on, so it's a good thing we have Google to help us navigate the delectable food scene. But here's a little pro tip. Don't just stick to the first page of Google results when you're hunting for dining spots in Lowell. Venture into the second, third, or even fourth pages because this city is a hidden treasure trove of culinary delights. Lowell's culinary scene is a, is a dynamic tapestry of cultures and flavors where you can embark on a gastronomic adventure every day of the week. So if you're a foodie, you'll feel right at home in Lowell where the options are as diverse as the city itself. Whether you're in the mood for some hearty comfort food, exotic international dishes, or innovative fusion creations, Lowell has it all. Just remember to pack your appetite because you're in for a culinary journey like no other. The next time you find yourself in this charming Massachusetts city, be sure to explore its culinary nooks and crannies. You never know what mouth-watering surprises await you in the heart of Lowell. Another benefit of Lowell is its primary location. Its location is beneficial for many reasons. First, its proximity to Boston. Located roughly 30 miles and 45 minutes to the northwest, Lowell may be an ideal choice for those who want access to the opportunities, cultural attractions, and employment options of a major metropolitan area without the higher living costs associated in the city. The commuter rail and highways provide easy access to Boston for work or leisure. Next is Lowell's historic charm. Steeped in history, known for its rich industrial heritage, the city's historic sites, including the Lowell National Historical Park, offer a glimpse into America's industrial past, making it a fascinating place to live for history enthusiasts. Lowell is home to renowned educational institutions like the University of Massachusetts Lowell and Middlesex Community College. These institutions provide educational opportunities and contribute to the city's intellectual vibrancy. Lowell, Massachusetts also offers ample opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts. It boasts beautiful parks, trails, and the Merrimack River, providing residents with spaces for hiking, biking, picnicking, and water-based activities, enhancing the overall quality of life. Lowell's location within the greater Boston area means residents have access to a broad job market across various industries. This diverse economic landscape offers ample employment opportunities for professionals in fields such as healthcare, education, technology, and manufacturing. And lastly, Lowell is known for its strong sense of community. Residents often engage in local events, volunteer opportunities, and community initiatives fostering a close-knit and supportive environment. Before we go any further, please hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it so you don't miss any future videos. All right, let's jump into the cost of living in Lowell, Massachusetts. The cost of living in Lowell this year in 2023 presents a mixed landscape shaped by factors including housing, transportation, healthcare, and daily expenses. Housing costs, while generally more affordable than its neighboring Boston, 
they've experienced an upward trend. Rent for a one-bedroom apartment generally starts at around $1,500 per month or more, and rent continues to increase from there, depending. Median home prices currently hover just under $400,000, though specific costs can vary depending on location and housing type. Transportation expenses are manageable, particularly if you utilize the Lowell Regional Transit Authority's bus services. Monthly public transportation passes typically range from $50 to $75, offering a cost-effective commuting option. For car owners, additional budgeting is required for gas, insurance, and maintenance, with costs varying based on usage and vehicle choice. Healthcare is a substantial component of living costs, with various medical facilities and hospitals available in Lowell. Health insurance costs fluctuate depending on factors like age, coverage, and provider choice, although many employers include health insurance and their benefits. Daily expenses such as groceries, utilities, and entertainment tend to align with the national average. Groceries for a family of four can range from $400 to $600 monthly. Utility costs for a standard apartment might amount to $150 to $200. And of course, these costs can vary widely depending on personal circumstances. Finally, Massachusetts imposes a state income tax with a flat rate of 5%, while property taxes are contingent on the assessed property value and local tax rates. Overall, the cost of living in Lowell varies depending on housing preferences, lifestyle choices, and individual circumstances but it generally provides a more affordable living alternative to the higher costs associated with neighboring cities like Boston. Now let's switch gears to the nitty gritty and talk about the cons of Lowell, Massachusetts. The weather in Lowell, Mass is characterized by distinct seasons, with each season bringing its own set of climate conditions and challenges. Winters in Lowell tend to be cold and snowy, and average temperatures during the season range from below zero on occasion to low 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Snowfall is common with the city receiving an average of around 60 inches of snow annually, and winter storms can occasionally lead to disruptions, impacting travel and daily routines. Residents should be prepared for cold temperatures and the need for snow removal, although in recent years the snow accumulation has not been as much as it has in past years. Spring is a transitioning period characterized by gradually warming temperatures where the average highs climb from the mid 40s to the mid 60 degrees Fahrenheit during the season. Spring is known for its variable weather including rain showers and occasional thunderstorms. The gradual thawing of snow and ice can lead to some flooding in low-lying areas. Summers in Lowell are warm and can be humid. Average high temperatures range in the mid 70s to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and above with occasional heat waves pushing temperatures even higher. Summers are relatively wet with occasional heavy rainfall. The humidity can make it feel even hotter at times. This season is ideal for outdoor activities, but residents should be prepared for occasional thunderstorms. And fall is a picturesque season in Lowell with pleasant temperatures and vibrant foliage. Average highs range from the mid 60s to low 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and fall foliage typically peaks in October, making it a popular time for outdoor enthusiasts and leaf peepers. However, as fall progresses, temperatures drop and frosty nights become more common. It's important to note that the weather in Lowell, like the rest of New England, can be unpredictable. Residents often experience rapid weather changes, particularly during transitional seasons like spring and fall. This variability means that being prepared for a range of weather conditions is essential. Winter snowstorms and freezing temperatures may require snow removal and adequate heating, while summer heat waves and heavy rainfall might necessitate precautions against heat-related illnesses and flooding. Next on the list is traffic. It's like a rite of passage here in Massachusetts, and Lowell is no exception. The city of Lowell is expanding just like the rest of the state and is dealing with its fair share of traffic snarls. But here's the kicker. Lowell's got some charming little bridges over the Merrimack River. They're scenic as heck, I tell you, but you gotta keep your peepers on the road, cause one moment you're soaking in the view, and the next you're admiring the taillights in front of you. But truth be told, it's the city-wide traffic tangle that's got folks fuming. 
Construction can be a pain just like many other areas, and while the traffic patterns in Lowell can be frustrating, it should come as no surprise given the population density and proximity to Boston. A final con of Lowell, Massachusetts is its relatively high property taxes. Property taxes in Lowell play a significant role in the overall cost of home ownership and are an important consideration for residents. Property tax rates in Lowell can vary slightly from year to year and are determined by the city's budget needs, while the assessed value of a property is determined by the assessor's office and is based on the property's fair market value. Assessments are typically conducted periodically and the city assesses properties at a certain percentage of their market value and property owners have the right to appeal their assessments if they believe they are inaccurate. The property taxes collected by the city are a significant source of revenue used to fund various municipal services and projects. These services may include schools, public safety like the police and fire departments, road maintenance, parks and recreation, and other essential city services. Finally, property taxes can significantly impact the overall cost of home ownership. It's essential for prospective home buyers to consider property taxes when evaluating their budgets and affordability. Additionally, property taxes can change over time due to fluctuations in tax rates, assessments, and local economic factors. Lowell may offer some property tax relief programs for eligible candidates, and these programs are designed to provide financial assistance to those who may have difficulty meeting their property tax obligations. So be sure to reach out to me or another real estate expert when planning your move. All right, folks, that's my rundown on the pros and cons of Lowell. Keep in mind, it's a city with its own gems and quirks, just like any other. Whether you're planning to move, visit, or just curious about Lowell, remember, I'm here for you. Please reach out to me anytime with questions. And be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. Thanks for tuning in and see you soon.